Hi and welcome to the Enterprise plugins demonstration. Um, I'm going to go through and show you a couple of plugins that we've done around assembly um, to improve the product. Alright, so if I just log on to our database in internet land, go into inventory. Now, if I just, I'll start off by just quickly showing you the standard assembly screen. Okay, so in here, I can put a quantity, gives me a shortfall based on what's in stock. So let's just change that down so I can build four. Nope, can we build three? Okay, so it's telling me I can build three because I've got six in stock of those um, and I require six. Doesn't that doesn't tell me this, I've got to kind of find this out for myself by trial and error the build quantities. Also, these build quantities work off. You, you see here, I've got a total quantity of uh, a total quantity in stock here of six. I've actually got a sales order on here, and that's got two allocated. So in actual fact, I haven't got I haven't got six free stock. I've actually only got four. So what we've done in our amended screen, amended assembly screen, which I'll show you here. is one it gives us a build total and you notice on the when I did it a moment ago I could put three in and there were no red crosses well now if I put three in it's telling me there's not enough stock available and that's because there is six in stock but there's only four free because two are allocated to sales orders so with the new assembly screen this assembly screen it doesn't doesn't deallocate or doesn't take sales order uh, uh, products allocated to existing sales orders I've also, you'll notice, got this figure here called Build Total. And what that does is as soon as the user goes in, they can see straight away, so if they're on the phone or whatever, they see straight away how many they can build. That's, that's a really nice feature. Okay. One other thing that we've added onto here is that to allow sub-assemblies inside assemblies. So if I just go and search for me my bike... What I can do is I'm going to my assembly screen here, and that's and I've created a puncture repair kit, which is itself an assembly item of tube repair glue, patches, and a tire tool remover. Now, what it's not going to do, it's not going to explode down. If if I don't have enough of the puncture repair kit in stock, it's not going to allow me to build it. So let's just try and build. So there you go, I've now got zero because I've got none in stock of my puncture repair kit. So to get some of those into stock, I need to come back out of here. I need to go to my puncture repair kit. I can build five, so let's build three of those. Go back into my bike. And then what you'll find now is I'm, I can create two. So if I put three in, I still get that problem. Let's just go and deallocate that sales order to prove that that's what's stopping it allocate, that it's stopping it build. So we change that to two, save and close. Come back out of this screen. Now we find we can do we can build three. So if I save that, that's now 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 built three bikes. So now see we've got a build of three. Notice the price £112. That's an extra £6 on the last build that I did. Um, which is obviously the puncture repair kit. And if I drill down and have a look at the puncture repair kit. We can see that that was the build that I did to build the stock in. And that's the build that's taken the stock out. Many thanks for viewing the new assembly uh, stock screen. Um, any questions, please call Enterprise on 0161 303 4320. Many thanks.